Uh, you're going to be w watching a slide so show presentation, and in, in the background, you're going to be hearing the actual trial proceedings of the Quebec trial that took place in August 2011. And this trial happened because when Brent had the courage to contact me, the woman he's been dreaming about since 1990, through uh, email and through a um, YouTube channel that he created for me, uh, Jesuit Lori McBride felt threatened by this and started uh, harassing me and threatening me online, creating YouTube videos alleging that I had interfered in her happy marriage with Brent Spiner and that she was going to do me in and that the Jesuit order would bring me down. And I told Vladimir Putin to take her to and Brent Spiner that I wanted to take her to trial and to uh, charge her with war crimes as a Jesuit. And so you're hearing the actual trial proceedings of that trial. Uh, I want to address several things that she brought up during this trial. For one thing, she alleged that she and Brent had an extensive sexual relationship uh, starting in September 1992 and onwards. From what I understand with Brent Spiner, and this is something very hard for him to talk about, which explains why I was in ignorance about some issues that she brought up during the trial. From what I understand, he, he was extensively drug raped by her in September 1992. And I made a movie called Brent Spiner's Rape that goes into this. And I encourage uh, everyone to watch that. In fact, this is sort of like a trailer for that movie. And th that movie goes into, into it quite in depth. Um, so at the time of the trial, though, Brent had not opened up to me about all aspects of how he was raped by Lori McBride in September 1992. And I believe that was because he was in denial about it because it was so emotionally devastating for him. It was hard for him to, to, to deal with. And he's been, he's been fighting denial about it, uh, trying not to even admit to himself the extent to which this woman devastated and drug raped him. So at the time in August 2011, when I was at the trial, I was only aware of a one-day incident in September 1992. We now, I now know Brent has finally had the courage to open up to me and let me know that it was quite extensive. It lasted for three weeks. In fact, um, if you go to uh, uh, my website, Gabriel Chana, G-A-B-R-I-E-L-L-E-C-H-A-N-A.com, and look at the opening web page and also the church page, the Church of Gale page. You can see the movie. And that, go that will, I have actually made a movie about the rape. It was three weeks long. And Lori McBride repeatedly drug raped him. She got him one time. And she, the way she was doing it, she was putting the drugs into his food. And these drugs actually used a form of mind control over him so that he, was, he thought he was going to bed with me. And he was actually going to bed with Lori McBride. Then he'd wake up and find out that it was her and he'd be devastated. And he was trying to outsmart her, but she actually was drugging, putting the drugs into the water fountains, into his food when he would eat at the commissary. Uh, she actually, and she got really bold and started injecting it into him. She was, this woman was strong and fast and good. She was a Jesuit. So apparently this was something the Jesuits planned way in advance. And they wanted to bring down Brent Spiner because he was famous and a celebrity and he was in love with me. And you know, at that time, neither Brent or I realized this woman was a Jesuit. He just thought she was some crazy wacko who somehow had extraordinary powers through Paramount Studios. And we now know she was a Jesuit, which explains why she was able to get away with this. And she was working in co-op. There were Jesuits in high positions at Paramount and they were working with her to help her accomplish her drug rape of Brent Spiner because they let her in the studio and they these these big wigs at Paramount knew she was that she was a Jesuit and it was a conspiracy so and she alleges that Brent enjoys this sex with her he most definitely does not she has almost killed him on several occasions he required hospitalization stitches um, and he told me that it was just absolutely devastating and the only reason he allowed her to have girlfriend status was that Paramount threatened him with public exposure as her rapist if he wouldn't allow her to have public girlfriend status. And that's how she obtained public girlfriend status. If she wouldn't go along with, um, with her story, if he would not go along with her story, Paramount Studios threatened for him to lose his job and also that they would give him public exposure as her rapist. 
and she actually uh, took got photos of them and videos and everything and she presented these during the trial you need to watch my movie um, so and also this is going to be hard to believe but she they actually burned her LeVar Burton burned her at the end of the three weeks and that's how they got rid of her that was the only way they could get rid of her he he had to kill her and then he burned her body and then a couple months later and i'll be going into this in the next movie that i'm going to be making a couple months later she showed up again and brent spiner couldn't believe it he thought he saw a ghost it was her clone um and if you uh look at terence jenkins uh, video number three in the quebec trial series you actually can hear and i also have a video about this on my opening web page you actually can hear when we had to shoot down Lori mcbride clone number four because she was killing people in the studio with a fire torch and then the, the jesuits replaced her with Lori mcbride clone number five so cloning technology that does exist we've got the evidence right there on audio on terence jenkins uh video number three unfortunately they've got me nude on that one and they did that on purpose because they don't want people to hear that evidence but you can hear it without the nude stuff if you just go to my opening web page and you can hear the audio if you want to show respect for decency and not promote jesuit pornography uh, another thing the um the reason i made a nude video for vladimir is that vladimir has been gone through hell with the Jesuits uh, being Russian president and prime minister. And that is that uh, gives him c courage and comfort to be able to see my nude body. I don't know what it is about my nude body, but my my husband's, and I've never gone to bed with any of these guys, but I'm committed to them, which Brent Spiner will be first. And then if something happens to him, if the Jesuits kill him, then I'd go to Vladimir Putin next. They've got kind of like an order here. But these men are all committed to me, and I'm committed to them. And we wish we could be married. And so I, because the Jesuits threatened to kill me if I come together with Brent or Vladimir, I make it up to them with nude videos. And that explains the nude videos. Okay. Just rolling along. Just rolling along. You know what I mean? I couldn't agree with you more. Oh! Who are you? What's going on here? Hey, don't play coy with me, lover boy. You didn't have any problems last night. Last night? I, no. Am I hallucinating? I don't think so. No, no, no. What have I done? Wake Look, you gotta up, go. Wake up, you sleepy thing. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. Don't come in. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> oh, baby. Baby, please, please. I know how this looks, but... Thanks for the swell time, Pally. Sugar, you got a terrific guy here. Yeah, I thought so. I... I just woke up and there she was. I, th I thought it was you. Mm -hmm. Oh... Till we meet tomorrow Good night, sweetheart Sleep will banish sorrow Tears and parting May make us forlorn But with the dawn a new day is born, so I'll say good night, sweetheart. Though I'm not beside you, good night, sweetheart. Still, my love will guide. Oh, <laughs>
Kiss me once, kiss me twice, kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Haven't felt like this, my dear, since can't remember when. It's been a long, long time. You'll never know how many dreams I dreamed about you. Just how empty they all seemed without you. So kiss me once, kiss me twice, kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Um, regarding the, the uh, 1992 September 1992 rape uh, where Lori McBride uh, came into Paramount those Studios pictures. and right in the middle of the episode of Fistful of Data that's, that's, that pictures. was what they were working on at the time when Brent was in the green room she uh, she put a uh, substance in his uh, rear beer that Patrick Stewart handed Looks like to Brent and when Brent butcher. drank it the uh, substance took How over his brain walk? and it was a it uh, made it so that Lori could use brain control technology on Brent Spiner and that's when she got on him cowgirl and started going up and down on his penis with her anus and Brent actually believed he was making love to me at the time um, as far as the mention that she has on a dreamland CD where her name is mentioned in very small print along with the son Jackson uh, that's because if he didn't do that, she threatened to harm me. So Brent Spiner didn't want her to go after me. So he did that. But as you can see, he didn't want to. Very small print. Regarding the son Jackson, that son was obtained through artificial insemination using Brent's uh, stolen genetic material. The Jesuits are very good with the reproductive science, as you will gather if you listen to any of the evidence that we have against them. So that's nothing for them. And... Um, in the uh, in the Dreamland CD on track seven, there is a track entitled "A Rude Awakening," and Lori is the strange woman there. And the entire storyline in Dreamland was based on Brent's relationship with me from 1990 to now. And um, Old Yellow Eyes was also he had me in mind when he made that. He's been a, he's been crazy in love with me for 22 years, and. Um, the Jesuits find that very threatening, and they use Lori McBride as their agent to destroy his relationship with me. Um, in Dreamland, I am the Maud Magart character. Lori McBride is the strange woman that he woke up with. So 